Hi, this is Joe Serta, President of NAFA Indiana and the March edition of NAFA Indiana This Month, your monthly video newsletter. I'm joined today by Andy Buter, Program Chair for NAFA Indiana, Greg Cagnasola, President of the Society of Financial Service Professionals, and Aaron Miller, President-Elect of the Society of Financial Service Professionals. We're going to spend the next five minutes or so explaining the 38 hours of continuing education we are offering the members of both organizations this year and our plan to collaborate in the future. Greg, could you tell us a little bit about the Society of Financial Service Professionals and the collaboration between our two organizations to provide quality education program to all our members? Sure, Joe. The Society of Financial Service Professionals is a multidisciplinary community of credential professionals whose focus is to provide the highest level of ethical service to clients. The society's core values are relationships, education, and ethics. The society's goal is to help financial service professionals deliver the highest level of client service possible. As we discuss NAFA's objectives for the coming year with Joe, it made great sense to coordinate our efforts to provide each organization's members top quality educational opportunities. What kind of programs will each organization provide? NAFA will focus on webinars that have proven so beneficial over the last year. We'll rebroadcast some NAFA live sessions that the Indiana Department of Insurance has approved for continuing education credit. We plan on running these webinars on the second Thursday of each month at 9 a.m. The Society is going to focus on what we think we do best, which is live meetings. The original idea was to have four quarterly meetings where we would gather for three or four hours of CE, but that quickly expanded to six bi-monthly meetings on topics of interest to both organizations. As a matter of fact, we had the first of those meetings this morning. We held a joint meeting at the Woodland Country Club in Carmel for four hours of CE on topics ranging from reverse mortgages to legislative update to generational and behavioral finance. Two hours of CE were arranged for by each organization. Now that's teamwork for you. I thought that this morning's meeting just went wonderfully for, for the first meeting that we held mm -hmm. uh, collaboratively. The uh, behavioral uh, finance was one of the best parts, I thought. Yeah, and they had a nice part on generational finance that was mm -hmm. fascinating. That was really a great start, but NAFA is not going to let the society have all the fun. NAFA will also host some live meetings as well. On March 25th, we'll be back at Woodland Country Club for a three-hour ethics course taught by Jim Johnson, the one that's required to renew your Indiana insurance license. On May 21st, we'll host a meeting in the Counselor's Row office complex in northern Indianapolis, focusing on the older investor. Charles Boyd of the Social Security Administration will teach a two-hour update on Social Security. And if you haven't seen it, she is dynamite. Yes, she Charles is always provides a good presentation. Mm -hmm. After Charles, past NAFA National Trustee Susan Weir will teach two hours of CE entitled Investments and the Older Client. On June 18th, we'll be back at Woodland Country Club again for a four-hour annuity class taught by NAFA past president Bill Barber. And he thought he wasn't going to have to do anything after he gave up the presidency. We'll be back at Woodland again November 19th for the five-hour long-term care insurance recertification course. Woodland is a great location. Aside from today's session, the Society and NAFA will jointly host a four-hour session there September 17th. Once again, the Society and NAFA Indiana will each arrange for two hours of CE. We haven't firmed up all of our speakers just yet, but at the very least, Joe will be teaching an hour on executive bonus plans. Well, Bill said if he had to teach, so did I. But seriously, in between... The webinars and the six bi-monthly meetings will also have a lot of great events to keep our members engaged and involved. May 19th and 20th is the NAFA Congressional Conference in Washington, D.C., which is our national fly-in. June 12th is our golf outing at the Golf Club of Indiana. Actually, it's the first one sponsored by NAFA of Indiana. October 1 through 4 is NAFA Performance Plus Purpose Conference in Boston, and on October 11th, we'll repeat the highly successful meet and greet with our state legislators at Spencer Farm Winery in Westfield. I'm very excited about our collaboration with NAFE Indiana. We formed a joint committee with a goal of providing our members with at least 30 hours of continued education throughout the year, and the schedule we just outlined definitely exceeds our expectations. 
I think this partnership will lift both organizations to new levels. I couldn't agree more, Greg. It's been a real pleasure working with you and Aaron to develop this program. I think this is a start of something really beneficial and special for both organizations. I feel the same, Andy. Our members have similar needs and interests, but NAFA and the Society each bring something a little bit different to the table. By working together, I think we will be able to provide programs that will help all of our members expand their businesses and serve their clients better. NAFA and SFSP have a lot of synergy. I'm really looking forward to the coming year. Make sure you go to our website to see our full calendar of events and check your emails frequently to make sure you don't miss any invitations. Thank you for joining us for NAFA Indiana this month, the March edition. April's video newsletter will feature Jeff Goralchik, NAFA Indiana's membership chair, who will explain his programs to grow NAFA Indiana's membership. See you next month.